I had to start university and um, my, at the time my parents uh, really encouraged um, me to study abroad and uh, they think UK is the best out of the whole world to be studying. The first school I went to was um, Kent Institute of Art and Design. It's actually a lot quieter than um, Hong Kong. Uh, but I soon realised that I'm not actually that used to it and um, was travelling to London almost every week, <laughs> every weekend and uh, so decided to go to um, Kingston University for my um, architecture education and uh, yeah that's where I started from and um, yeah I, I enjoyed life in the UK a lot more since then. My first experience is um, when I was in my year out uh, after my part one degree and uh, I was working at a very small company um, which had, uh, uh, there was basically two architects and a dog <laughs> and me um, and uh, it was a very small office uh, uh, in Surrey um, so not far from London and they did um, house extensions and it was mainly with private clients. And currently in this practice I run um, specific projects. I'm currently running a residential project and I've got to manage a team in the office. So um, a standard two-bed flat um, in Hong Kong is probably the same size as a standard one-bed flat in London. So um, there are quite different sizes in flats and layouts um, uh, comparing in the two countries. Um, and uh, yeah, sometimes I can't help but um, apply the Hong Kong standards into um, the London projects, um, which, uh, yeah, I mean, I try my best to follow the London standards. <laughs> I'd say the pace uh, there of build is um, qu much quicker than London um, but uh, um, I mean the quality of design may not be as refined um, and I think that's the difference um, in London and China. I think uh, with my parents uh, being businessmen and women yes um, that has influenced me. Um, I understand that uh, in a project um, there are uh, the, there would be delays and um, there would be hiccups um, all along the way. Uh, things might not go as smooth and uh, I think that's all um, to do with running a business. I grew up with an English god-grandfather. He is from Southampton. Uh, he actually fought in the Second World War and was in the British Army in England. In 1948, he came to Hong Kong and uh, founded the police training unit. And uh, it's a, a training unit that still exists in Hong Kong. He taught me English all along. Um, every day after his work and after my school, um, I would um, I would sit next to him and he, uh, we would try and read books, uh, read together. Uh, he would bring us little treats and he would hide it uh, in the cupboard, under tables and uh, would ask us, uh, me and my sister, to guess hot or cold and see um, uh, where, where the treats are. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great fun having uh, him and uh, we both, we all miss him. <laughs>